Hello. I wasn't planning on starting the episode here, but I can hear a zombie, so uh, I guess I'm going to go looking for him, because he's annoying me. I don't think I should be hearing one around here. Right. I'll come back when I've found him. Ah, gotcha. Hole. Anyway, as I was saying, welcome whoop, back to the Lovecraft server. Ah, we should be on episode 19 here. It's a couple of days before Halloween, so uh, whoop, another one off this way, maybe somewhere. Or maybe later. Trying it down here. Uh. Yeah, uh, Halloween. We did we did a, hallo a stream at the weekend. Um, bit of fun. I'll catch everybody up on what's been. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea. That was probably a bad idea too. Let's try it this way. Anyway, yeah, so Halloween, I'll light this place up, and then we'll do a little tour of what happened in the stream. Alright, first up on the stream day was Bexy, who spent most of the time placing pumpkins around. You can see one behind me. Let's go and see the rest of them. Let's go run the right way. Right. So... Let's have a quick look at Spawn Town. You can see the damage that was done. Grab me rockities. It's quite an astonishing number of pumpkins, in fact, everywhere. Even my tower did not escape. So that was Bexy's contribution. And, ooh, no, wrong way. No post to me. If we pop back into the nether, we can go down and see my contribution to the stream day. This is uh, JT and Bex's tree farm. The right way. Which is this way. And not that. There we go. Maybe I opened a door there. Right. And then it was this way. No? I always get lost. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, what have they done to truck pipe's head? When it loads in. So I decided to uh, remodel, or give costumes to, the two statues that of uh, JT and Bex's patrons and uh, fellow server members. Karis. And truck pipe. Actually, maybe we'll get a bit of view from flying. So yeah, on the left, Jason Voorhees, on the right, Freddy Krueger. If I'd had more time I would have had another statue of a third classic cinematic horror villain. But sadly, 
That took me two hours to do, so uh, uh, a little disappointed about that, but there you go. Now then, who was next? district and BD did a trick or treat which is over here and we shall now play it may involve death but given my entry that is not right now if I understand no is there a to put your stuff starting on the wrong end maybe huh I guess have we got enough wood on us yes we do all right quickly knock up a Actually, it's probably easier to go over to my place and drop my stuff off. So if I die, I can arrive straight back. Of course, we'll need night to arrive. How far away? Oh, not too far. Yeah, it's going down. Oh, took up my shield. we go. Alright, the thing is here you uh, ring the doorbell, get trick or treat and you can win stuff or die. So, stand here, press the button. Ooh, nice. Now if you do die after getting something as nice as that, Apparently you can maybe hear them. There are uh, minecarts under here. And um, they will pick up your stuff. And I guess return it, save it. Well, so far so good. Ouch. Wait this out. There we go. Well, I believe I've survived this then. <coughs> Thank you very much, BD, for the five blocks of diamonds. That was that was very nice. Karis to do some work. She she was trying to um uh make as many death messages as possible or well, they didn't get too many done I don't know maybe something like eight but also built a water parkour and of course we love water themed things over here Right, and you start with the largest and work your way around. Two. Another should be perhaps timed, maybe.
There we go. That's Carissa's. That's Carissa's uh, Halloween entry. Right. Following Caris with JT and Bex, who did a bunch of um, one-off games between them, which probably won't be able to uh, do. Oh yeah, here are the uh, remnants of JT and Bex's pumpkin building competition. This one, JT's one, I believe. One. Whereas uh, Bex is unfortunate. Slightly exploded one, I believe, at some point. Did not. But then's the brakes. And after JT and Bex, it was uh, um, Enigma Craft who finished up by uh, having some fun out at his uh, nascent with a skeleton farm. So that's all that happened on the live the live stream day, live craft live stream day, live live craft live stream day. I have all you I want to pronounce it. I will pronounce it anyway. Now, what are we going to do for the rest of this video? Here we are over at the base, and uh, I should mention what's what's been going on here. Captured this guy uh, just last night. No, uh, night. Minecraft-wise, rather than anything else. Um, we've got a second beacon you can just see over there, which I uh, had a little, little fun trip through the nether to uh, gather the skulls for that one. And then to beat the weather up. The weather? Beat the weather? Beat the wither up in the end and we've also it's probably easier to do from here started putting in a floor over here underneath uh, that so we can see how many um bamboo we've been getting whilst the thing has been running as a uh, caris has been digging out some of this kindly for us as a sort of a recreational um chill time for herself I mean, these are the most likely ones to have stuff in. So yeah, so these are working. Got a fair amount of bamboo, and I guess we will look at getting that to uh, 
to filter down into a storage system if we ever manage to get around to building one. So yeah, so that's what's going over here, and I think for our next one we shall be popping into the nether. As you can see from the side behind me, tunnel to be designed by moi. Now, uh, issue is basically... What? Oh, have we got a... Yeah. Coast block time. A little clear out. The, there's only the pigmen farm here, and it's over in the corner. So... Uh, chances are... I don't think there's anything else here. Currently. So... In order to, to give it a different face when you look in each direction. I'm going to build a pigman face here so you can tell which way to go. And yeah, I'm going to get right on that. Oh, hello guys. Bye. This is then is going to be the uh, southern gateway. Uh, we've still got to do the stuff behind, but uh, we can look at that at a later date. Uh, because I don't know, because we've got the three wide, I've used the fact that the zombie pig man is um, has a an offset sort of head. If you look at one, you'll see that the the, the one side is the, the skeleton, and it's actually smaller than the the other side. 
a bit like the overlay. Yeah, actually, let me have a look at this guy here. Yeah, you see. You see one. Stay still. Right. Uh, try you. Yeah. So this side is, is set back a pixel or so, so that the skin appears to be overlaid and missing. So, um, that, that helps with the fact that the doorways here is going to be three wide and this, this walkway is three and the whole thing is odd. So, there we go, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out the other Lifecrafters. All of their names and link links are listed in the bottom of uh, the description. And uh, if you like this video, leave a like. I think that's what it's for. If you like, want to make a comment, that would mimic my day. And then uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next Lifecraft episode. Bye.